Have you ever known what you needed to do, you just never did it? Or maybe there was a moment where you knew you could do more, you just didn't understand why you weren't. Today, I wanna share with you my number one secret for success in life and business. My name's Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and I am excited to dive into today's topic. But before we do, I wanna share with you, when we were getting ready for this video, my wife said the color orange, the Superman shirt, looked like jail, like it reminded her of jail. And so I just started laughing because I thought it was funny, but in Spiral Dynamics or the eight levels of consciousness, which I'll eventually do a video on because it's really important, especially when understanding politics. But in the levels of consciousness, level five is actually the achiever. And so it's people that are just go-getters, entrepreneurs, high performers, right? And that color, they put a color code to each level, that color is orange. So as you watch this video and you see this orange shirt, that means that you guys are all achievers out there that are watching this video. So pretty cool. Wanna give a quick shout out to my buddy Marcus. He's the one who bought me that sign right over there. It says, do what you love, I love it. Uh, we'll see if it makes a cut in the future as we change up the studio and make some moves. But for now, I love it. And so enjoy it and remember, do what you love in life because you only get one shot at it. So anyway, let's dive into today's topic. Today's topic is around the power of identity. See, I've coached over 16,000 people around the world in many different countries and personalities and backgrounds and industries. And what I found is the reason why most people don't succeed is they don't have the proper identity to achieve what they want. You might be sitting there like, Joe, what do you mean the proper identity? What I mean is, well, let's say this. We all have multiple personalities and no, you don't have a disorder. It's just that if we're stuck in one identity in the way we see ourselves in just that one way, you're not gonna succeed at life, I'm sorry. Let me give you a little bit deeper explanation here. See, you're not just a parent. Right? If you think you're just a parent, well, when you go out there to achieve something in business, you're going to fail. And so we gotta have multiple personalities and you already have it, you just don't know it. We haven't just given you an, a name to these identities, which we'll talk about here in a moment. For example, you might be a father, a mother, you might be a son or a daughter, a best friend, an employee, an employer, an entrepreneur, a lover, a best friend, right? We have all these different roles or identities all the time. It's just that we're not using them to our advantage to give us massive success in our life or even in our business. So one of the best things that I do with my clients to help them in their life or business is I help them get clear on their identities. Now, I have a wheel of mastery. That's where you go through different categories of your life, like finances, relationship, career. And we go through all these and we kind of rate them on where they are. But we also get clear on what are the identities that they need to achieve. Now, there's, a, there's four archetypes or roles or identities. You can give it whatever name you want. It's just a label. But there's four major ones out there. They call up the warrior, the king, the lover, and the magician. And there's different variations of them, but in essence, it's talking about when you gotta get into action, like you need to step into your warrior. Who needs to step up? It's the warrior, right? However, I like to use them as a baseline, but then I like to go to that next level, which is really identifying these roles, these identities that you need in particular situations of your life that are gonna allow you to take massive action. And we name them, we give them an inspirational name so that you're actually compelled. It pulls you to move forward in the action. See, I remember when I was at the gym many years ago, I was at the gym working out and it was a cold you know, winter day and I remember I was just sitting there waiting to do my next set of dumbbell presses and all of a sudden I had this thought come to me. I said, am I doing this workout just to check the box or am I doing it to get a specific result? And I realized I was just checking the box off, like just going through the motions. And I said, well, what's really my result? I wanna get fit, I wanna get shredded, right? Well, who was showing up? The person showing up wasn't gonna help me get fit and shredded. They were just good enough to get the box checked. And so I asked myself one of the most powerful questions that you could ever ask yourself, and that is, who do I need to be? And then fill in the rest. And in my case, it was, who do I need to be to crush this workout and to get fit and shredded? Consistently over time, obviously. You don't do it in just one workout, right? And then I discovered I needed to name that person, and that part of me is beast mode. And from then on, whenever I went to the gym, 
And still to this day, if I'm tired, because I get up at 425, I go to the gym, I do a two mile warm up run, and then, all, or excuse me, a 20 minute uh, warm up run, and then that usually equals about two and a half miles, just at a kind of a, a slower pace. But anyway, and then I go lift, and I'll tell you, I don't eat right away. I eat after I work out because it's so early. And so I'm, I'm like, there's times where I feel tired, I'm sluggish, and I'm like, okay, who needs to show up? Beast mode. And I need that part of me beast mode because when I hear that, when I try that on, that identity on, all of a sudden, I'm like, let's go, it's go time. It's like, let's crush the weights, the weights, right? And so for me, that works. And I named it beast mode because it's compelling to me. It turns me on, like it's like, let's go. And I find my body changes, my breathing changes, my focus changes. And so you gotta look at it, where in your life are you struggling? And you gotta sit there and you gotta ask yourself who needs to show up in this moment. So maybe for example, you're in business, right? And you just can't seem to get your marketing right. And you gotta ask yourself who needs to show up? Maybe it's the master of marketing. Cause the master of marketing will think differently than Joe or Jane, right? Because when you start to shift an identity, you start to think different, a different thinking system comes on. And so you gotta decide what those identities are for you that are gonna allow you to thrive, to prosper, to break through, to do whatever it takes to achieve that goal. So with that, what I'll say is, maybe some of you, you gotta look at your role models. Who are your role models? Or who are some people that you could adopt as role models that you could probably take on their identity so that you can be able to take that next step in your life or your business for success. Show suits. And I'm not much of a show guy, but that one was really good. I don't know how I got hooked, but if you haven't watched it, watch it. And there's a guy in there, a character named Harvey Specter. And Harvey's the man. He's sharp, he's witty, he's calm, he's cool, he's powerful. He, he gets the job done and he always gets his outcome for the most part. And I love this character. And so I remember as I was watching it, I was like, I got it. When I'm working on jumping on calls with people and serving them and asking them to become a client, I need to step into my Harvey Specter role. So I need to like stand up, put my hands in my pocket as if I was wearing a suit or something, shoulders pull back. And when I'm in that, it's like, there's no other answer, but yes, because I know I wanna be able to serve that person. But stepping into that identity is powerful. So you gotta go and look at the different areas of your life. Maybe it's your business, maybe it's in your, your relationship, where you could start to step into new roles that will allow you to achieve more. Another example is my wife and I on Sunday evenings will do financial, financial meetings for our household. And so the master of finances has to show up, not Joe. Joe will come in and just wanna screw around, right? And just talk and you know just conversate about different things that don't really have any impact on our financial future. But when the master of finances show up, He's like, all right, here's how much we got in the bank, here's how much we got in our portfolio, here's what we're doing in our real estate portfolio. Like, we're, he's dialed in. So if you're gonna have success, you gotta look at what are the areas, and in fact, right now, I'd like you to write down three areas where you know you could be playing life or business at a higher level. So that might be in your health, your relationships, and your finances. Or if in business, it might be something like your marketing, your culture, and uh, team development that you know you can play a higher level. And I would like you to create an identity or multiple identities in there, right? For example, I have beast mode, but when I go out and play you know, football with friends or even my son or, or my boys, should I say, you know, I can step into a different identity, right? I might be playing you know, the coach when I'm having catches with my sons. Right? Versus when I go out and play ball with my buddies, it might be, you know, the, ath uh, the athletic man, right, who comes up. So you want to name these different parts of you that need to show up in specific areas. And I'm telling you, when you do that, all of a sudden, you will start to see your business turn around. You'll start to see your life turn around. You'll start to feel more empowered. You'll start building momentum, and that momentum's sacred, and you're just going to feel so proud of yourself. You're going to want to keep going and building on that. And that's how you have massive success. Success. Otherwise, it's kind of like trying to force someone to do something that they don't want to do. Joe doesn't want to push his body to his limits when he's running or lifting weights. He doesn't want to do that. But beast mode, he freaking loves it. David Goggins, part of him, he wants to go out there and push his body when he's running. He'll wear a flak jacket, he'll put weights in it, he'll go 10 miles in 100 plus degree weather, right? Like, 
The David Goggins part of me loves it. Joe doesn't love it. So for you, you gotta decide what that is. When you do that, watch how your life rapidly catapults and your success increases when you step into proper identities each day for your success. All right, guys, that's it. I'd love to find out what are the identities that you've come up with. Please comment below. Maybe it's the queen or, you know, it's the, the masculine male or whatever, beast mode. I don't care. Put it in below. If you found value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Comment below. Most importantly, subscribe because we're putting out three videos a week of value for you in the areas of business and finance, relationships, and personal development, giving you some of my best tips, tools, and strategies after they're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in trainings, working with over 16,000 coaching calls over this last decade with people of all walks of life. I want to be able to give back to you because I know that you need to have the success that you're looking for to go out and make an impact in the world. So hit that subscribe button to get more videos. With that, I'm Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.